All right, this is page number one. We're going back a little bit. Number four. It says many Major League Baseball players can throw the ball at 90 miles per hour at that speed. How long does it take for a pitch to travel from pitcher's mound to home plate? A distance of 60 feet, 6 inches. What I really want to focus on, because this is a little bit more along the lines of the question on the test, is can you take 90 miles per hour and convert it into feet per second. Now, my suggestion here, when you're looking at miles per hour into feet per second, you're looking at taking a unit of measurement, miles per hour, and putting it into another unit of measurement, which is a rate of feet per second. When you're dealing with rates and conversions, for me, I like to look at it as two different units, because it is. You have 90 miles in one hour. So instead of just doing one conversion, you're kind of doing two conversions. If you can convert miles into feet and hours into seconds, then you have converted miles per hour into feet per second. So how can we convert 90 miles into feet, Emily? Yeah, so we can multiply 90 miles times 5,280, and that'll give us the answer in feet. And how can we convert one hour into seconds? Alex? Um, you multiply, by multiply by 60. So if I multiply one hour by 60, that puts it in minutes. And now what, Tyler? Multiply by 60 again to get it into seconds. Okay. So if you can do that, you just went to feet per second. Now, to simplify this, 90 times 5,280, of course, you notice off the top of your head, is 475,200. And then 60 times 60 times 1 is 3,600. If you divide that, because this is feet and seconds, you'll get feet per second at 132 feet per second. All right? So that's your feet per second. Now, if you actually wanted to solve the question they're asking, which is how long does it take, I'm going back to remembering that distance equals rate times time. You're in feet already, and you're in feet per second. So your distance is 60 feet 6 inches, which is 60 and a half feet. That should be an equal sign. That equals your rate, 132 feet per second times your time. So if we divide these, divide 60, oops, by 132, you get 0.46, which is seconds. Bless you. So it takes 0.46 seconds for it to get there. All right. Now, last little tidbit to the test. Is that, I'm also going to ask you about an increase. So I might say, what increase in percentages do you, does it take for this player to go from 90 miles per hour to, say, 95 miles per hour? What's his increase in percentage? So how would you figure out the increase in percentage there, Blake? Oh, um, the increase in percentage? Yes. Or percentage, sorry, percentage of increase. What percent of increase do we need to go from 90 miles per hour to 95 miles per hour? Okay, this is kind of weird, but the way I might do it is divide 0.46, divide that by... I wouldn't deal with the distance at all, or the time. Just have these two rates here. Jack? I would take the total number before, which is 90, mm -hmm. and put 5 over that, because 5 is the increase. 
find out what percentage of 95 is and then add that on there. So, one so what percentage of increase is that 5 miles per hour? That should work. What's You have to be a little bit careful because if you do 90 divided by 95, you're taking a percentage of the 95 and not the 90. So what you sh what, there's two ways you could do it. Oh, Natalie, question? Could you do um, either 90 divided by 100 or 90 divided by 90? We have a lot of things here that are ideas, but I, don't, I think there's one, yeah. there's one that will work so far. Yes. I think that you might have to do 95 divided by 90 because it's 100% of um, 90 because it's 95, not just like. I like that idea. If you take 95 divided by 90, you're finding out what percentage 95 is of 90. And you get that it's 1.056%. Or. Actually, it's 1.056 of 90, which is 105.6%. So your increase, your increase is 5.6%. Okay. You could also do it the way Jack said. You should be able to. Take your calculator right now. Do 5, because that's your increase, 5 divided by 90. And what do you get there? Yeah, it's still 0 0.056. The one's just not there. And you still get 5.6% because this is actually your increase. So test-wise, that's what we're looking for. The two things I'm looking for in the test is going from miles per hour to feet per second and then also this percent of increase right here.